So you might be wondering how you can actually use your iPhone with a dual SIM. So maybe you want to use two eSIMs or you want to use an actual SIM card within your phone, but you want to set up another eSIM outside of it. Now doing this is actually very easy. However, there is a beautiful article that Apple went ahead and wrote. So I will leave this link down in the description and we'll probably walk through it a little bit here today. But essentially setting up your own eSIM is very easy, but you will have to have an eSIM or you know in the process of utilizing and getting an eSIM on your phone. And as long as you have an iPhone 10 or 10s max or above you should be able to go ahead and set up eSIM. you also have to be i believe on ios 13 or above but as long as you have an iphone 10s or 10r or newer you should be able to do this as you can see from this specific portion and that is pretty much it so the first thing you want to do is as long as your iphone is fully functional you can go ahead and type put in your first sim card by looking at your side of your iphone and putting in a sim card right here that will basically set up that first sim card on your specific device now the next thing you want to do is you want to hop inside of your settings application just like so and you want to go ahead and scroll down until you see cellular. It's like the third option down from this portion, fourth option, and what you want to do here is you want to go and click on cellular. Now you should see your other SIM card if you already have another SIM card set up. You can go and look through there, but there should be this little option that says set up eSIM. So like I said before, this is your electronic SIM card. So now all you have to do is go and click on set up eSIM and a little prompt is going to come up that's going to allow you to go ahead and actually set up your specific SIM card. So I don't have a SIM card that I'm setting up right now, but you can go ahead and if you already have a transfer from another Android or whatever phone, you can go ahead and set up this as a transfer and you can go and transfer your old number straight to this specific one. Now you can also use a QR code. I think from a majority of places that I've seen, if you're getting an eSIM, you're going to go ahead and use this QR code. And at this point, all you have to do is click on use QR code. You can scan this QR code or you can also enter the details manually. And that's all you have to do. Once you go ahead and set up your entry or you know your activation code, you will basically be in the process of setting up your electronic SIM card, which basically means you won't actually have to go ahead and utilize a SIM card or even a SIM card slot like this. It'll be an electronic SIM card and you can go ahead and transfer that SIM card to another phone if you want to, and it's all digital. So that is essentially how to set it up. Once you go through this process, you're pretty much good to go. And that's all you really have to do. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.